Hey good people, it's Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about denim. And girl, I love jeans. Every day of the week I would wear jeans. I have to actively <laughs> force myself to wear something different. And I've been like that since I was probably about 15, 16 years old. They're just a staple in my wardrobe. I love dressing them up. I love dressing them down. And as a result, I have probably every style cut jeans that you can imagine. Style and cut of jeans that you can imagine. I mean, I have the skinny jeans. I have the bell bottoms. I have the boyfriend jeans, etc. And so I thought it would be fun today to go through through all of those styles give you my review of them my take on them and also start to explore something outside of skinny jeans yes I said it okay I'm not saying you have to get rid of your skinny jeans I actually have a pair that we're gonna talk about today but I do think it would be great this year to start to explore different styles outside of skinny jeans all right so if that sounds good to you make sure you are following me over on Instagram for daily style and self-care inspiration and let's get started sis Before we get started, let me just say that I will be wearing the same turtleneck and jewelry throughout the entire video because my goal really is to allow the jeans to be the star of the show, okay? And so this turtleneck is from Mango. It is a very thin knit great for layering which I will do with several of the looks so let's start with the OG triple OG girl and that is the skinny jeans now I'm trying to remember when skinny jeans first came on the map whenever it was girl I think this was all I had in my collection for probably about six or seven years okay I was skinny jeans out and uh, this is the last pair that I have because many of the other ones have gone on to glory girl. And this pair I actually got last year, believe it or not, uh, in a partnership with a brand. Um, but they are seven for all mankind. They are distressed at the knee, very high waist. And I think this might be a size of 28, 29. They are size 28, okay? Um, and Seven does, in my opinion, great jeans that are meant to just really suck you in because that's what these do. I don't wear them as much anymore because once you kind of branch outside of skinny jeans, what you begin to remember is what it felt like to breathe. And, and, and not be squeezed into like sausage casing. Um, these are pretty comfortable for what they are, but realistically, you know, skinny jeans are meant to fit tight. Um, and it's not something that I'm as into these days. I, I really want to be comfortable. Um, but what I find that skinny jeans do, of course, is they're going to fit well inside of jeans, uh, inside of knee boots, I'm sorry. Um, because unless you're wearing a pair of tights, it is unlikely that you're going to wear a wide leg pair of denim with a pair of boots that come up to the knee, right? The, the, the denim are not going to fit inside the boot. And so that is the primary reason why I keep a pair of skinny jeans. Now, pro tip here, okay? I, unless you want to look like Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie from The Simple Life, what you might want to think about doing is playing with proportions with skinny jeans, okay? So I would not wear a pair of skinny jeans with like a crop top or a, a, a slim fitting shirt and then go for a high heel on the bottom. It's just not good. It's not the look that we're going for anymore, okay? Uh, so, so what you may want to think about doing, especially during the, the colder seasons, uh, is wearing an oversized sweater, a cardigan, a, a, a jacket, something that's going to give you volume up top. And then you're going to put your skinny jeans on and you're going to wear it with a higher boot. I probably wouldn't even do a Chelsea boot, okay? Um, because the goal here is for the jeans to be the slimmest thing that you are wearing. That's just my style advice, but sis, whatever makes you comfortable, please, I encourage you to do you, okay? But I find that with my wardrobe, I tend to like skinny jeans the most when I'm wearing something that is a larger or provides more volume up top, as you can see with this look with the long jaw cardigan, and then I'm wearing these boots by shoots, and so 
that is why I keep these in my collection. As you can see, they are a bit of a lighter wash. I love the distressing at the knees. And once again, I just think that Seven for All Mankind does really good denim. And I also don't have any of that gapping in the back that can be so common for curvy women. So that is the first pair of jeans that I want to review with y'all today, the skinny jeans. Now for me, I graduated from the skinny jeans to the boyfriend cut jeans, okay? And boyfriend cut jeans, are very similar to straight leg jeans in that they are going to provide a little bit more comfort, obviously a bit of a wider leg than skinny jeans. They don't tend to have as much like of the elastic or stretch to them. Okay, these are by one teaspoon and I grabbed these from Shop Bop I think two years ago because I really was like, okay, I gotta up my denim game in some way. Um, and this was the first pair that I grabbed with that intention in mind. Shopping with intention, y'all know I love that phrase, okay. Um, and one teaspoon is a great brand. They have many, many different cuts. If you are someone who does want like a baggier or a looser fit, um, Ray even wears one teaspoon jeans. I find that they really do have um, a lot of options if your style may be a bit more androgynous or a bit more casual, okay? What I have always loved about these are these small details that you may or you may not be able to see on camera, which is the distressing and even the bleach stains at the bottom of the hem. They could stand to be a little longer, and so when I got these, I appreciated them, but I knew they didn't fit or they didn't click every box for me, okay? Now, uh, one thing I can say about boyfriend cut jeans that I didn't realize until I got these is that they can fit a little bit lower as far as the rise is concerned, which is not surprising, right? They're meant to fit like a more masculine pair of jeans. So they do tend to sit either low or mid-rise and they are going to be a bit baggier in the leg. Because of that, what I tend to do, as you can see here, is style them in a way that feels a little bit more dressy up top to kind of play with this idea of uh, something that is a bit dressier with something that is a bit more casual. So it makes the outfit look unexpected, which is why I threw on my Daily Sleeper top and my Roger Vivier mules with the Pimp Pilgrim buckle. Somebody over on Instagram called them swashbucklers. They said I was wearing the, sw the swashbuckler 3000. I said, you're blocked <laughs> because that was <laughs> Nevertheless, I love my shoes, okay? Um, and so as you can see, uh, I feel like this look came together because of the dressiness up top and with the shoes. Um, and then I just kept the casual with the boyfriend denim. And so that is the second pair of denim on the list. Next, we have a silhouette that has been my favorite. And I think y'all's favorite too because quite a few of you have purchased these using my link. Thank you very, very much. And they are the Mango High Rise Wide Leg Denim with the Distressed Hem. Uh, they are actually called the Casilda Jeans. And I got these in a European size 40, a USA size 8. Um, where do I begin? Okay, let's, we're we gonna start with the Mango, just, just as a company, okay? Uh, because I talk to y'all a lot about investing in basics, high quality, elevated basics, and I really feel like Mango has the goods if you are not trying to break the bank. I talk about Mango, Cost, Aritzia, but Mango, especially for me, is where to go for the denim. You will hit the lick trying to get some denim over at Mango, okay? And I love that they are size inclusive. I have a link for y'all many sizes that are beyond a US 12 that are available over on Mango. This Casilda pair of jeans, um, where I feel like they hit the mark with these y'all, and, and you let me know down below if you have these, if you feel the same way, that they are high-waisted, <clears throat> and even though they are wide leg, they still fit in the hips. And so they give you kind of that shape. They accentuate, in my opinion, one of the most feminine parts of a woman's body. Now, as you can see, I'm black. Okay, and so we love a good little, a good curve, okay? We love a good snatched waist and you want them hips to be, bam, like a Coke bottle, as my grandma would say, <laughs> all right? And that's what I feel like these, these give, um, even though they're wide leg. And so this could have been a silhouette that was much straighter. I have pants or a pair of trousers like that, but they still gave you a little something, you know, a little booty sitting up. They gave you a little hip sitting out. Um, and so I have become a lover of mango jeans because of that. And I also love, and I think this is kind of across 
across the board. Uh, for me, any jeans that have an unfinished hem. I don't know why that's my thing, but it just is. And I actually love this kind of silhouette with a pair of heels, right? So kind of juxtaposing once again that distressed bottom and, and that's thought to be kind of grungy or kind of casual, but then hit them with the heat and put on a high heel. It's always gonna be a look it's always gonna be a look and I also love how high these come up especially as well because these days I love to show like a little peak of skin here um but we're not going back to the 99 2000s where your entire stomach would like your entire abdomen would be out um this gives you that kind of sex appeal without you feeling like you are exposing too much in my case at least um and so yeah the mango wide leg denim i think are great options my favorite pair of jeans right now but wide leg denim just in general i think are really clutch to have in your wardrobe and then we have a pair that probably feels a bit unexpected because I don't wear these often and it is bell bottoms. And so I got these a couple years ago from Saks. They were having a great sale. They are by the brand Mother. And I'll say out of all of the denim that I'm going to talk about today, these Mother denim are the softest. And I have felt that way over the years with several pair of their jeans. I just feel like these are soft as a baby baby's bottoms they feel like butter and if you're someone who doesn't like kind of that rigid feel of denim or like you have to break denim in then mother is probably a brand that you would love and so i got these on sale i love the distressing around the top with the pockets and then we have um the cutouts at the knees of I tend to love um, this silhouette with platforms or like stacked heels the most. I didn't really feel like styling that up. I didn't feel like it was something that was the most seasonal appropriate right now uh, to wear a pair of sandals. And so you see me wearing just a pair of boots. These are a pointed toe, probably about a three, four inch heel. They're old from Aldo, but I feel like they work with this look. Also wearing the Dior Beret, playing with proportions, like a little bit of volume up top to match that volume that is around your your ankle with the uh, bell bottoms and so I was actually kind of surprised I was like oh this might be let me find out this is a look right quick though um so I might actually start pulling these out a little bit more this time of year and not just wait for them over the summer um but either way bell bottoms especially if you're somebody who has like a very curvy shape I can see how bell bottoms would be an amazing amazing look on you the next category, y'all, is statement denim. Statement denim. And this is something that I have been getting more into lately because I do have, you know, a pretty solid collection. Now stepping out to something that's outside of the foundational pieces, I'm really excited about. And I saw these jeans, I think probably first on either Tamara Kalinich or uh, Janae of Hollow Lux. Hey, sis, if you are watching. Um, both of them, their style is amazing, especially Janae's, to be honest. I mean... We already know what Janae working with over there, okay? That style is iconic. And Sis has these, and I just absolutely fell in love with the way that she styled them. Now, they are by Margiela, so they was a nice little coin. Um, and I went back and forth about whether or not I wanted them, but then what I realized is what you're paying for is not just these slits on the side, which is you know, a look in and of itself, girl. Um, but also what you're paying for is the cut, the fit. Out of all of the jeans, these are probably the highest, to be honest with you, and because of that, I need to get the waist altered a bit because I ended up getting them in, um, I think I went up a size because I was a little nervous about them, so I think I went up to a 29 instead of a 28 in them. Um, and I would say definitely go for your true size. But anyway, they are the highest rise, and they almost have kind of like a balloon shape to them, which I really, really appreciate. I love balloon fit denim just as a category. And so you kind of get a two for one here. By balloon fit denim, what I mean is if you can see how they kind of taper or how they kind of uh, flow out and then taper at the ankle. That's what I mean by balloon fit denim. Um, these are fantastic. I, I just girl what do you have to do when your denim has cutouts at the thigh given thigh meat you you don't you don't it's not a lot that you have to do 
and that's why despite the price point I definitely would recommend the Margiela jeans now if I can find something that's more affordable I'll definitely link it down below but pay attention to Margiela if you do want statement jeans they have quite a few pair that I think are absolutely phenomenal and the last pair of jeans I don't have with me I think they're probably in the wash um, after I filmed my cutaways yesterday but it is mom jeans uh, mom jeans they're not as popular as they used to be but you definitely can still find them many many places um, they are the high waist mom jeans like they're meant to be very reminiscent of the 80s um, they provide a little bit of extra room in the hips and the leg and then they are tapered at the ankle and oftentimes cropped um, let me just say that as you can see in in, in the cutaway um, these are a little big for me and so I don't tend to wear them as much but also depending on your shape I want you to keep in mind that mom jeans can give you a very long booty like they give you a, a and they give you a cutting board charcuterie board booty and I don't think that that's flattering I, I, I really don't and so that's another reason why I kind of pulled away from them um, but they are comfortable still if it is a weekend and I'm just putting on a pair of sneakers and a t-shirt and running to the Home Depot I have nothing against them I just find that out of every style of denim that I have talked about today these may not be as flattering for the majority of body types now if you have found a pair of mom jeans that go against that please let us know down below in the comments but that is the last pair of jeans in my denim collection and that is it good people thank you so much for watching today's video let us know which one was your favorite style of denim make sure you subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and everything that I have mentioned or something similar will for sure be linked down in the description box in the meantime I will see you good people across the internet peace